Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Redskins possibly being interested in signing wide receiver Josh Gordon and I'm also going to be talking about if we should sign Josh Gordon and I'm going to be giving you guys a few free agent wide receivers that we could end up signing if we do not sign Josh Gordon. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get into it. So CBS, yesterday they came out with an article listing the Redskins as a top landing spot for Josh Gordon. And also JP Finley and John Kime have consistently said that the Redskins are looking to sign a veteran wide receiver. So now let's get into the report. So CBS lists the Redskins as a top landing spot for free agent wide receiver Josh Gordon if he gets reinstated, which is a big, important factor. Uh, here's what they had to say. Coach Ron Rivera apparently doesn't want to stunt young wide receivers' growth by adding another veteran receiver, uh, but this was talking about Antonio Brown, but this could easily change once Washington gets to camp and realizes its young guns may have been affected by the disrupted offseason. There's a reason the team reportedly went all in to try to land Amari Cooper. They know Dwayne Haskins needs more help at wide receiver. And also, a key point is Scott Turner was Josh Gordon's wide receiver coach in Cleveland when he did have his best year of his career in his second year. So Scott Turner might try to influence the Redskins and sign Josh Gordon. If you look at Josh Gordon's stats, he is a very, very good receiver when he's on the field. And if you look at uh, his stats, he missed 2015 and 2016 entirely. He pretty much missed the whole 2014 uh, season. And this all has been the same issue. Marijuana use. And I think now with the new CBA, it's not an issue. So he's going to be fine. If you look at 2012, he had about 805 yards, 50 catches for five touchdowns. And then once the Red or not the Redskins, the Browns got Scott Turner as a wide receiver coach, everything changed for Josh Gordon. He still had a great rookie year, but once he got Scott Turner, his wide receiving yards doubled. He played super good, 16 146 yards and nine touchdowns, had his best season of his career, and that was in his second year. He was a pro bowler and all pro in his second year, and even in his uh, third year, he was playing good before he got uh, suspended. Five games, 300 yards, wasn't as good as his second year, but was better than his first year. So he was still on pace for about an 1,000-yard season, which is still really, really good. And when he's still played after that, like in 2018 with the Patriots, he had about 740 yards and four touchdowns, with, which is still pretty good. And he didn't even play 16 games. And last year, he had a down year, but he was kind of playing injured. He played in 11 games and had around 430 yards. But his time on the field was a lot less than usual last year. He didn't play as much as he usually does. And last year was his highest or second highest catch percentage, which is also encouraging. So he's still relatively in his prime. He's 28 years old. So I think this could be, going back to uh, the post, this could be a realistic signing for the Redskins because they do need a veteran wide receiver because as much as I really like our young wide receivers in Terry McLaurin, Kelvin Harmon, Steven Sims, and Antonio Gandy-Golden. We don't have a single really good veteran on our team. We do have Cody Latimer, but we don't know what's going to happen with him. We have Trey Quinn, but he's still really young to one where he's probably not going to make the team. So we do need a veteran wide receiver, especially with this shortened offseason. You want someone who you know can contribute right away. So Josh Gordon could be one. And I'm going to, after this, I'm going to be talking about a few others that could help us out too. But Josh Gordon could be on the outside. He would probably start and if Kelvin Harmon or Antonio Gandy Golden are absolutely balling out in training camp and they end up starting over Josh Gordon, Josh Gordon will still be a great rotational piece. Will get over 400 yards if he plays more than 10, 12 games. And he's been relatively healthy in his career. The issue has just been the suspension, which won't be an issue this year with the new CBA, hopefully. And yeah, I think he would be a great wide receiver for us. I personally would sign him if I were the Redskins. Yes, I do love our young wide receivers, but Antonio Gandy Golden is very, very good, but he's also raw. He needs development. And I think someone like Josh Gordon, who not necessarily is the same body type as him, but he's kind of that wide receiver on the outside who, yeah, six foot three, 225 pounds. That's almost identical to Antonio Gandy Golden's build. So 
he could help develop Antonio Gainey Golden and Kelvin Harmon into the receivers that we think they could become. And it could be another one year prove it deal. And it's probably not going to happen soon. It'll probably happen in training camp, like Redskins today said, or the report said that if our wide receivers aren't looking good, because we all know Terry McLaurin is going to ball out this year. He looked really good last year in training camps. In training camp is going to be even better, but it depends on Steven Sims, who I do think is going to be good, but also Kelvin Harmon and Antonio Gandy Golden. Let's see how they're doing and then maybe potentially sign Josh Gordon or another veteran wide receiver because I do think we will sign a veteran wide receiver this offseason. It could be Josh Gordon or it could be someone else. JP Finley and John Kime, like I said, have consistently said that they think. We will sign a veteran wide receiver this offseason. Could be before training camp or it could be after training camp. But I think Josh Gordon is definitely a realistic uh, signing. Like I said earlier, Scott, or Scott Turner was his wide receiver coach in 2013. So he could possibly advocate for signing Josh Gordon because he already has familiarity with him. Because they worked closely together in Cleveland. So another good thing is Scott Turner is going to know how to use him perfectly. Because he worked with him in his best year of his career with uh, in Cleveland in 2013. When he was the wide receiver coach. So I think it would be a match made in heaven. I think it would be a great signing if we could get him. And we'll see. I'm not going to expect him to get 800 plus yards. But I think he could be that 2018 Josh Gordon. Where he got 740 yards which is pretty good, and I think it would help us out a ton because you want a veteran wide receiver to lead your wide receivers because our oldest wide receiver is Terry McLaurin, or that is going to make the team. It's probably going to be Terry McLaurin, and, and it's his second year, so we need someone who's older than that, who's been in the league for a while, like Josh Gordon, who can lead these wide receivers and help them out to develop. So I think signing Josh Gordon would be good, but if we can't sign Josh Gordon or if we don't sign Josh Gordon, if he doesn't get reinstated, here are some other wide receivers that I would not be mad if we went after. So one is Taylor Gabriel. I've talked about him in the past, but Taylor Gabriel is pretty solid. Uh, he played in nine games last year, didn't play that great, 350 yards, but 350 yards in nine games is not terrible. In 2018 was his best year, 688 yards and two touchdowns. And that was with Mitch Trubisky as his quarterback. Mitch Trubisky did make the Pro Bowl last year, but the Pro Bowl is a joke, fan voting. So I don't think... I think with a better quarterback, I think Dwayne Haskins is a better quarterback than Mitch Trubisky. I think he'll play better. And obviously, if he stays healthy, plays 15 or more games, he'll have more yards because his yards per game was pretty much on pace for his 2018 year. He just didn't stay healthy. And he would be a probably play on the slot because he is very small, five foot seven, 170 pounds, kind of like a Steven Sims, but again, probably wouldn't start, but it would be good to have a veteran wide receiver who can be a rotational player come in on situations that we have more than three wide receivers on the field. And I think he could help us out a lot and contribute to the development of our young wide receivers. So the next guy that I think we could end up signing would be Chris Hogan. And the reason I say that is because he played for Carolina last year. So Ron likes familiarity. Last year, obviously, did not play good. Seven games. He only started one of them. Had 15 targets. Caught eight passes for 67 yards. And he was playing hurt a lot of the year. But if you look at his really 2014 through 2018 years, he consistently averaged like 500 yards per season. Around that, a little less. But still played really good. And I think he could be another veteran wide receiver who could help out in camp and potentially make the roster. And he definitely wouldn't start but he would probably be, probably be a rotational piece, like I said. Could Honestly, though, if he plays 14-plus games, could potentially get like 400 yards and a few touchdowns just like he got in New England. So I would not be opposed to getting him just because of his familiarity with Ron Rivera, even though it was brief. The last guy that I think we could sign is Demarius Thomas. And Demarius Thomas is a little old. He's about 32, but he's still... A decent wide receiver last year in 11 games he had 433 yards which doesn't seem like a lot but if you think about it he played with Sam when Sam Darnold had mono so he was playing with Trevor Simeon and I think Luke Falk so he was not playing with good 
quarterbacks at all until Sam Darnold played. So I think if he had Sam Darnold for the whole year and he was healthy, he could have gotten like 600 plus yards. In 2018, he had 677 yards. And then in 2017, 950. And before that, just consistently a thousand plus yard season. So he's a good wide receiver. And I don't think he would be uh, a starting wide receiver, but he would probably compete on our team to be a starting wide receiver. So again, I would not be opposed to signing him. In my opinion, it would be in between Demarius Thomas and Josh Gordon, who I would sign. But I do like Josh Gordon a little better just because he has more potential. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know if you guys want to sign Josh Gordon. Also, shout out to Redskins today for always being a good uh, reporter when it comes to Redskins content. And I saw Juan Gotti's and Ed Oliver's video yesterday, so go check out them down below. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I will probably be streaming on Saturday, by the way. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace.